Hey guys, Chris Kennedy here. I'm on Harbor Island today previewing a property for a client of mine. Anyway, so I was going to do a tour or a little drive around Harbor Island to show you guys what it's like to at least drive around the island and maybe explain a little bit about what it's like to live here. So follow me along and uh, hope you enjoy this. Harbor Island is located in between Davis Islands and downtown Tampa. Here, you can find a mixture of condominiums, townhouses, and single-family homes, as well as apartments for rent. There are convenience stores, coffee shops, local restaurants, and nightlife. When you live here, you're walking distance to downtown, and many of the properties are actually waterfront properties or have waterfront views. I'm beginning the tour at the far end of Harbor Island. It is um, a community called St. Tropez at Harbor Island. It's a mixture of single family homes and townhouses. Some of them are actually waterfront and some are not. The house size ranges between 2,900 to 4,200 square feet. The prices for these homes range from 1.5 to 2 million if you're on the water. If you're not on the water, a little bit less, around 1.3. Um, homes are about three bedrooms to four, ba four bedrooms with three to four baths as well. And it's um, again, a mixture of single family home and townhouses. Um, and this is again in the gated community called St. Tropez at Harbor Island. And to my left here, this is the waterfront side. And it's again a mixture of, of town homes. These are mostly town homes, the single family homes were behind me on this tour. Directly in front of me is the Port Royal community. These are a mixture of single family homes and townhouses. Um, prices range for 800 to 850,000 if you're not on the water and 1.3 to almost 2 million if you are on the water. Um, those sizes can range from around 3,000 square feet, three bedroom, three and a half baths. And across this pond, we're gonna head toward the uh, larger townhouse communities. This one on the right here is called Harborside uh, Townhouse Community. These range in the 400 to 500s. Um, sizes are between 1,600 to 2,200 square feet. Some are on the water, some are not. Three bedroom, two and a half baths. And uh, each of these private townhome communities on Harbor Island have their own uh, private pool or, or community pool inside of the specific community. Um, right here, we're entering into one of my favorites is the, uh, the Keys at Harbor Island. It's a Key West style townhouse with you'll see the metal roofs and the porches uh, very similar to what you'll see in actually key what an actual key west and uh, these rarely come available but when they do they sell around 590 to 650,000 uh, the size is about 2,500 2,600 square feet heated three bedroom two and a half bath for each and um, again rarely come available and uh, one of my favorite communities on Harbor Island just because I, I used to have one of these. And uh, as I leave this community here, we're going to head toward, uh, or you'll see the townhomes of Harbor Bay. This is another townhouse community that's not on the water and about the similar size, 2,500, 2,700 square feet. Uh, that's them right in front of me as we leave this community. And uh, those are priced about 600000 to 700000 for three to four bedrooms and two and a half to three and a half baths depending on uh, how big it is and um, of course that has its own community pool as well and uh, here we're on beneficial drive there's a nice walking path that goes along harbor island so you can walk around the entire island um, it's very peaceful and it's a nice way to to commute or to and from your neighbors or to the restaurants or shops on harbor island on my right here, you'll see what's called the Harbor Homes. It's another townhouse community. Um, these range from about 350 to 580,000 right now, uh, 1,500 to 1,800 square feet. Beautiful pool comes with uh, the community, and it's uh, some are on the water, some are not. And again, we're going to continue down uh, Beneficial Drive toward uh, the next community, and we'll talk about that in a moment. So I'm heading toward South Harbor Island Boulevard, and the next community we'll drive by on our on my left is it's called the Homes at Harbor Bay. This is a luxury single-family home community, um, 2,900 to 3,500 square foot heated for these homes uh, that you'll see here on my left. 
and um, these are about four bedrooms to two and a half, three and a half baths. Some of these have a private pool and there's also a community pool. I'm heading right now into Island Homes. This is an, one of the, the more luxurious um, communities on Harbor Island. Again, we're still behind the uh, guarded gate. These homes range from 1.6 to 2.6 million and they're about 4,500 to 5,500 square foot heated. Um, it's a amazing community if you just want to leave your house uh, unattended. You got your guard gate and landscapes maintained by the HOA. You can have a beautiful pool in the backyard. Great for entertaining. If you are someone who loves entertaining and loves being on the water, this community is perfect for you. Um, it's definitely um, a boater's community, um, a lifestyle to be on the water and, and just be out to the bay, or be out to Picnic Island, hanging out with your friends or just fishing either way. Uh, one of the very unique communities in Tampa where you could feel like you're on an island, but also be close to downtown Tampa. And it's uh, quite a unique place to live. And as I leave the Island Homes community, you'll see in front of me is the uh, Harbor Island Athletic Club. Harbor Island Athletic Club is a full service athletic club with basketball courts, 15 clay tennis courts, complimentary childcare. They host parties for the members all the time and it's a wonderful facility. As we leave, you'll see one of the 24 hour guard gates to my left. In front is a mixture of offices and a parking garage and just past is Jackson's uh, Steakhouse, Coffee Shops, American Social, a new club that opened in 2017. And as I turn right here, um, across from Harbor Island Athletic Club, you'll see the Icon, which is a new luxury rental building by Related Group. It's a beautiful building, a beautiful condo for rental. And then Plaza, one of my favorite condos in all of Tampa for luxury condos. Uh, one bedrooms range from about 400,000 and then go to uh, three bedrooms up to one and even two million depending on what floor you're on. They have wonderful pools uh, and amenities like 24-hour uh, doorman. Uh, you have uh, valet parking, parking garage space that's private. And uh, again, one of my favorites on my left here is uh, 500 Harbor Island. And as we pull up to the stop sign, this is another community called Island Place and Island Walk. This is another really cool condo community that actually has a bit more of a townhouse feel. It's got one, two, and three bedroom units and they each come with one or two car garage. Uh, amenities are great. There are two different pools and there are two different gyms and as well as tennis courts. And the prices uh, range from 210 to even high 300s depending on how many bedrooms and your view uh, so another very cool, cool community you could actually drop your paddleboard or kayak in the water and cruise around the bay right uh, outside of your um, your doors if you live in the island walk or island place on my right here this is uh, the post these are rentals near downtown uh, harbor island in uh, downtown tampa and as I turn right here on Harbor Post Drive, this is where you could find the local Crybaby Cafe where you can get some coffee or a bite to eat, Cafe Dufresne, uh, dry cleaners, and a couple other uh, restaurants and shops. And to the left is the uh, Grandview Condo. Rarely come available, but they're overlooking downtown Tampa in the water. And uh, this is where you can also rent or buy a boat dock. And we're coming to the end of this little tour and um, here's a look at the grand view to the right and the post on the left and you can see all of the boat docks that you can get so this is another one of my favorite parts of harbor island it's um, right here harbor walk we're on the water you can get a boat slip if you live on the island here or nearby and right across from harbor island is downtown tampa in the channel side district there's the amelie arena where the bolts play there's a uh, Tampa Aquarium, the Tampa History Center, famous Columbia restaurant, and the new JW Marriott in the Water Street area is going to happen right across the water. You can walk there from here. And it's, uh, again, an amazing community right here in downtown Tampa area.
If you guys found this video and tour helpful, please give me a thumbs up or a like down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next tour.